be up here. I just gotta organize a few things. Okay. So it turns out, okay, so are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're filming? rolling. You're oh, rolling? Yeah. Okay, I'll edit this stuff out. Okay, so um, what we have, you guys, is we're talking about the immune system response. Okay? And so when we get sick, we've got this barrier or this protection around us. Okay? And this is our skin barrier. Okay? And so our skin is watertight. Um, we also have things, we have eyelashes around our eyes. We have mucus in our um, eyes. We have mucus and hair in our nose to prevent things from getting into our lungs. Okay? We also have a really good cough reflex so that if things do go into our lungs, we cough them up. Okay? So unfortunately though, what happens sometimes is this skin barrier gets broken. Okay? And so you may get a cut or something like that. And then guess what? A pathogen gets in. Okay? Pathogen. Well, and it turns out that these pathogens, they're no good. But fortunately, there's a little flag on this pathogen called an antigen. Okay, so I want you to remember antigen, pathogen. Okay, and what it does is it tells our bodies that there's something that shouldn't belong there. Okay, and so our first line of defense is our white blood cell. Okay, so you can see this, it's our white blood cell. So these are floating around our body waiting for something to happen. When we get a cut, um, we're gonna get some swelling, we're gonna get um, a little bit of uh, heat added to that, and then it basically sends out some signals for these guys to come and check it out. Well, what they do is they actually see the pathogen, they destroy it, and they display it. Okay, this is really important. So this is a white blood cell, but it's also an antigen pre presenting cell. Okay, and so what happens is our white blood cell, and pretend that I'm the white blood cell, check this out. I'm just playing it right now, okay? So the white blood cell comes along and it engulfs a pathogen with an antigen on it. And then what it does is it displays that antigen, okay? And what it does is it takes that message and it sends it to, wait for it, the Mr. T helper cell, okay? So the Mr. T helper cell is the quarterback of your immune system. I'm the white blood cell, the white blood cell comes along to the Mr. T helper cell and it says, oh by the way, you need to look out for this, okay? So it looks out for this and then what the Mr. T helper cell does is it coordinates the attack for our whole body. The first thing it does is it signals to our killer T cell that hey, guess what? You gotta kill all the things with these antigens, okay? And it's literally just like, now, the killer T cell goes nuts. What does it need? It needs the fun police. The suppressor T cell is like, hold me back, hold me back, hold me back, okay? And the suppressor T cell is like, okay, I got you, I got you, everything's done, okay? Meanwhile, we also have the memory T cell. The memory T cell is remembering the pathogen's antigen, okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So this antigen is super important because it tells our bodies that something's wrong in there. Okay, so the memory T cell remembers it for later. Okay, now, at the exact same time, the T helper cell is also getting another cell to do their job. We have the, the B cell. Now, the B cell is gonna build something, okay? And it's gonna build antibodies, but it's gonna differentiate into diff two different cells, okay? so. The helper T cell was working on the killer T cell and suppressor T cell, memory T cell over here. At the same time, it also goes hard on the memory B cell. Oh, sorry, the B cell. And it tells the memory B cell, okay? Now you guys know elephants can remember everything, right? Mm -hmm. They remember everything. So that's why the memory B cell. The memory T cell remembers the antigen. The memory B cell remembers how to make the antibody. The antibody fits onto the antigen and then renders it useless. So, finally, we got the last one here. The B cell also differentiates into the plasma cell. And you might notice the movie, does anybody know who Happy Gilmore is? Yeah. Yeah? You guys know? So what about Happy Gilmore's grandma? Do you guys remember her? Um, yeah. Yeah. She goes to um, uh, the, uh, the little <laughs> the home. And do you remember Ben Stiller saying, Excuse me. My fingers hurt. 
And then Ben Stiller comes along and says, oh, really? Well, now your back's going to be hurting because you just pulled landscaping duty. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Arts and Crafts is being extended an extra four hours today. Okay? So it turns out that the plasma cell makes antibodies to latch on to the antigen. Okay? And the memory B cell remembers how to make that antibody for later. Okay? So if we relate this all to COVID right now, you guys, COVID is a virus, it's not a bacteria. It gets in through our skin barrier. Our white blood cells, our antigen presenting cells, devour it. They display the spike protein that we've all heard about, okay? It sends that message to the helper T cell. The helper T cell then tells everyone else what to do. The helper T cell is the quarterback. It tells the killer T cell to attack. It tells the memory T cell to remember the antigen. And then it also tells the B cells to differentiate into the plasma cell and the memory B cell, okay? And that's that.